let's talk about what parts of a mother's medical history that could be important for your pediatrician to know about when you come in for an appointment with your child and you have a breastfeeding question or problem. So all doctors who are taking care of babies that are breastfed really need to know a few key components of a mother's history to take good care of the infant. Uh, one of those is what medications a mother is taking while she's breastfeeding. Those would include supplements, vitamins, over-the-counter medicines, prescribed medicines. Even if some of the medicines are temporary, like right after a delivery, we would still want to know about those. Almost all medicines are safe in breast milk, but you want your doctor to be able to know the list and the dose, to be able to double check those through Dr. Hale's infant risk line, or the Mommy Meds app, or the infant risk app. So please make sure you have a list of the medicines that you are taking as a mother who is either pumping milk for her baby or breastfeeding directly. Another key piece of mother's history would be if you've had any surgeries on your chest or your breast or your pituitary gland. So surgeries that have occurred in those areas on a mother might impact how much milk a mother is able to make. If you've had a surgery on your breast for a biopsy or for an augmentation, breast augmentation or breast uh, reduction surgery, we would definitely want to know that at the very first office visit with your child who is breastfed. You can let your doctor know um, when you're filling out your past medical history form. There's a section for family history or important things that run in the family. That's a good place to put it on our intake form when you register with our office. Anyone who comes for a breastfeeding appointment to Agave Pediatrics will have a comprehensive breastfeeding form that has lots of detailed questions and you would also include that information there. Another piece of information that's important from a mother's history if the child is breastfeeding is what types of hormonal issues she might have had in the past. Examples would be polycystic ovarian syndrome as a teenager or before the pregnancy. Infertility, was there any difficulty to conceive the child? Um, the hypothyroidism, either a low or a high thyroid can affect breast milk supply. So those types of hormone histories are important for us to know about to monitor the baby effectively. Our pediatricians at Agave would need to work with your family medicine doctor or your PCP or your OBGYN to make sure that your long-term medical problems are maintained in a safe way to protect both of you. Uh, we are not able to do lab testing on mothers ourselves, but we can communicate with a mother's primary care doctor if labs are necessary. So be sure to bring those things up when you come for your visits and your breastfeeding.